It's a very special episode today. I'm making super fudge brownies from Ben and Jerry's ice cream and dessert book. This is a cookbook I grew up with. It was published in 1987, so it's a little bit newer than I usually talk about, but I will do a full book discussion a little bit later in the video. I made these brownies so much growing up between middle school when I got this cookbook and after I left home even, but I haven't made them in a while, so I thought it's long overdue. I could use some brownies. There are a couple of steps that you wanna do before you actually start making this recipe. The first one being, melting your chocolate and butter together. You can do this over a double boiler, basically a double boiler if you don't know what that is. It's a pan of simmering water with another pan, or I like to use a metal bowl sat on top of it. I used to do this in the microwave sometimes growing up, which you can also do. Just microwave your chocolate and butter together at 30 second intervals and stir in between each one. You don't wanna burn your chocolate. Ask me how I know. <laughs> the reason that you wanna do this ahead of time is because you need the chocolate mixture to cool down to room temperature before you incorporate it into your brownies. You don't want that hot chocolate scrambling your eggs in the brownies. You can cool this down quickly by putting it in the refrigerator, but do not let the chocolate harden again. Speaking of eggs, you do want to get those eggs out a little bit ahead of time and let them sit and then come up to room temperature. Basically, you kind of want everything to be around the same temperature before you start mixing. I swear I used to have this whole recipe memorized. <laughs> Beat the eggs and salt in a mixing bowl until very fluffy. So it's four eggs and then half of a teaspoon of salt. I will have the full recipe in the description down below. I'm gonna do the hand mixer, y'all. And this is her maiden voyage, so let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, it's on. Now what? <laughs> oh, heck. There's a light on this thing. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. <gasps> it has a pause button. Wow. It sounds like an electric scooter or something. <laughs> gradually beat in the sugar and the vanilla. So that is a teaspoon of vanilla and then two cups of white sugar. So I'll just add a little at a time. All right, let me see if you can tell like how fluffy and thick that is. Now comes the chocolate and butter mixture that has been cooled and I'm supposed to gently fold that in. This recipe seems to rely quite a bit on air whipped into the eggs. I didn't really know that when I was, you know, originally making this and learning how to bake and everything, but I get it now. <laughs> Try to be pretty gentle with that. And I'm using a pretty big spatula too. That kind of helps gently incorporate things a little bit faster. Let's see how beautiful that is. It's like a nice marble. The final ingredient I have, one cup, whoops, <laughs> of all-purpose flour. And I'm just supposed to gently fold that in until it is just mixed. We don't wanna knock any of the air out. Having a big spatula kind of helps you dig to the bottom of the bowl as well and make sure that you incorporate all of those dry ingredients. Just don't want any like big pockets of dry flour in there. Look at that, it looks very luxurious. So I have my prepared nine by 13 pan. The recipe says to grease in flour, which is what I did, you know, making this recipe way in the past. I'm gonna try some buttered parchment paper. Pour this into my pan. Wow. <laughs> And spread that out. You could get your offset spatula here if you wanted. I'm gonna try to do it without that. This is always such a good brownie recipe. I hope it turns out and is as good as I remember. I used parchment paper because I wanna try to lift this out and, and cut them really nicely. So now I have to bake this at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream and Dessert book was published in 1987. I got a hold of it probably, you know, sometime in the early to mid 90s. This is the original copy from, from my childhood. I got it at Marshall's. <laughs> the tag is still on it. I paid $5.99. More than likely my parents paid $5.99, but it has gotten a lot of use over the years. On the cover, we have the original photo of Ben and Jerry. So Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield, they started Ben and Jerry's together. This book actually takes you on that entire journey, which I love. So it is more than a cookbook. It is like the history of their ice cream company. They did start it together. They had very specific ideas of how they wanted to run the business. It was sold to Unilever in, I believe the year 2000. I know this because I used to own one share of Ben and Jerry's stock. So when I first started dating, 
my husband. That was a Christmas gift that he got me. It was very special and I actually, that was back when you could still get like stock certificates and stuff. So I owned one share of Ben & Jerry's stock. I did end up having to sell it, but I think I still have the stock certificate somewhere. It opens with our story. Ben & Jerry actually met in seventh grade. If you can believe that, I think that is such, such a cool story. You know, it starts with their story, but then there's a chapter called Ice Cream Theory and it kind of explains how to make ice cream basically, how to make good ice cream. You know, they do have like a chart here of the different types of dairy products that you could use to make your ice cream, the percentage of butter fat and those things. Uh, it is actually a very useful chapter if you do want to get into making ice cream. I have made ice cream from this book, not super often. I have one of those old school ice cream makers, not the hand crank, it is electric, but it's the ice cream maker that I grew up with. You actually do have to use ice and salt and like layer it and everything. So don't get it out too often, but I really should make some more ice cream from here because it is amazing. These are very good ice cream recipes, but what I focused on, because I think it's a little bit more accessible, day to day is the bakery section. I'm making the super fudge brownies. And these are supposedly the brownies that they actually use in their ice cream. And they're very, very good. They also include a recipe for giant chocolate chip cookies. And from those chocolate chip cookies, you can also make ice cream sandwiches. Sounds amazing. You can see that these pages have been well worn. There's food on them. I have made the blonde brownies as well, and those are very, very good if, if that's your thing. Some people prefer chocolate brownies. I like both. They even have some maple walnut brownies in here. And then they go into Sundays. And someone has just started mowing. <laughs> right when I start filming, it's time for lawn care. Anyway, if you can hear that, I apologize. <laughs> the artwork in this book, just to say a little bit about that, it's very colorful. I know that the design of the Ben & Jerry's containers has changed a little bit over the years, but like when this book came out, it had this like very distinct, like cartoonish look to it. Do they still have, I don't know if they still do, but they used to have this photo on the front of each container, but they have recipes in here for ice creams that have actually been mass produced. Um, so I guess you could make your own New York super fudge chunk if you wanted to. They've got fresh Georgia peach. They have like phased flavors in and out over the years. I'm not really sure of what their current lineup is, but they even have a recipe for Cherry Garcia in here. And I know that that's a favorite of a lot of people. I'm pretty sure that one is still available. I thought this was a really interesting sounding flavor, apple strawberry. And they have the book divided up into sections like chocolate ice creams, fruit ice creams, ice creams with cookies and candy. So it's a very well organized book as well, but it's kind of funny. Um, I do have a few books in my collection where when I purchased to them in the past they were pretty new you know this one was published in 87 i probably got it around like 1992 to 1994 but I've had it in my collection for so long that it is now considered vintage. <laughs> so, you know, it's not from the 50s, but it's definitely older than 25 years. If you get a chance to purchase a copy or get one at the library, I highly encourage you to do so. There's a lot more than ice cream in here. If you wanna learn a little bit about the history of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, I know that, you know, of course, since 1987, there have been a lot of new developments, but it is interesting to just kind of read through and see how the company started and learn a little bit about making ice cream. My parchment paper worked. These baked for exactly 25 minutes. That's what worked for me in my oven. Your mileage may vary. I did manage <laughs> to crack these in the middle a little bit when I was trying to take them out of the pan because I'm very impatient and I didn't let them cool completely, but they're pretty much cool now and I'm ready to cut them. I'm not gonna be too precise about this. I am gonna cut the edges off a little bit. These brownies are as described in the book, light yet chewy. That is how I remember them. So I'm excited to try these again after so many years. These are gonna be so good, I'm so ready. Well, let's take a closer look. Yes, look at that. Break it open, oh yeah, look at that. That is gonna be delicious. I can't, I can't wait any longer. These are so good. I don't know how they managed to be both light and chewy but somehow they do and it works. I don't know why it's taken me so long to make these again. It's really not that hard and it really doesn't take that many ingredients. So yeah, I would encourage you to give this one a try. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love making videos about food, vintage cookbooks and retro recipes. So if you know someone else who likes those things, please share this video with them. It really does help my channel grow by reaching a larger audience. Thanks again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.